Man, I hope they don't kill the messenger on this. Like, share, and subscribe. This is just research. I want to send my condolences out and solidarity to the working class of Maui. There's already reports of capitalists in our country that are trying to, uh, you know, make a good deal out of all the land that was scorched over there in Maui. And that is so funny how that is the first thing that happens under American society. With Joe Biden saying that he only going to give families to restart $700 in a one-time payment. FEMA. Now, the reason why I had a job in, in being a contractor with roofing and stuff was because of the corruption of FEMA. And a lot of families were displaced. But other countries have better ideas on how to deal with these kind of tragedies. For instance, one country that had been under the radar a lot, China. In fact, China is one of the countries that uses their National Guard and their military to actually put out missions to help the people in building better wildlife and having actual response to tragedies like mudslides, earthquakes, all types of disasters that can happen. In this article I just showed you here, for instance, the PLA is also in charge with a wide range of non-war missions, including humanitarian assistance, disasters, relief, maritime patrol, and non-combated evacuations. These are small in scale, but important. Indeed, every Chinese military intervention since the 2000s has consisted on non-war missions. This looks like a big embarrassment for a Democratic Party because this is the second time a major tragedy like what happened in East Palestine has occurred in the United States. And all because of the, the contradictions of capitalism. With Maui, it's the indigenous plants that are lack of and all these other plants that come in that basically cause these fires. And the tourism and all this stuff, ecosystem getting destroyed. And a lot of Hawaiians have said they do not want uh, tourism, but... It has been ignored. With East Palestine, it was a derailment and all these chemicals that destroyed working class homes. And, you know, this is worse than George Bush flying over because Biden has never even visited these people or even tried to, you know, have some type of connection with these people. It takes them a while to respond. And these people are being displaced. They don't have an army or a National Guard that is efficient enough. We have military from other types of the world. We have Mexico that comes in to help us. Sometimes from Europe. All kinds of countries come in to do what we should be able to do. But we can't do that. And why? Because... We have over 900 military bases around the world, especially surrounding countries that we want smoke with. So our military is more prioritized on attacking and slaughtering other countries just for our interest instead of being used to be mobilized to liberate our people whenever there are natural disasters, which is why there's so much rise in homelessness and there's so much rise in economic disparity, more poverty, because we can't even do the bare minimum.